Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Golly, think we loafing or something. Okay, we got this. Good, come out of this bag. I hope. I sure like this bag setup right here. This is cool. Bam, it's open. You can reuse that bag if when you're careful with them. Again, don't let me forget where I put that. Where I left that. Alright. Now we gotta get all these parts cleaned off. Or uh, get all this stuff cleaned up. I ain't gonna demold them till tomorrow. carbon next to the primer or first I put down a layer of four ounce next to the primer a layer of this five ounce carbon a layer of my foam and then another layer of carbon so that gear door sandwich between two pieces of carbon that dude will be tough <laughs> 
I called Paul and said, man, you think I should just lay that up out of carbon on both sides? He said, go for it. And uh, that'll really make that gear door rigid, man. It won't, it'll hold its shape perfect and shut perfect. You wait, this gear door is going to be fucking perfect. Whoops. Going to be darn perfect. <laughs> Excuse the language there, kiddos. Oh, Bob won't let one slip. Well, that worked out pretty good. And you see this little spot here? I mean, it don't have nothing I need, probably, you know, for this little area. But for cleanup purposes, it's easier just to glass the whole thing. And when I pull all this off, it'll pull all the primer and uh, down to the bear, down to my mold and I won't have to go back and chip out any primer or nothing at all should be good. Plus I kind of wanted to test some of these these holes here. I didn't put no filler in. I want to see if uh, this vacuum bag and I'll push that glass into them corners without it. I'm just kind of experimenting. It's still just a wee bit tacky. That, He'll probably come up easier tomorrow. I guess I'll just leave this one on there. We'll pull it off in the morning. So I'm tired. Again. <laughs> man, that's going to make one rigid old gear door, man. And I'll, uh, I'll cut it out from my panel lines, then I'll come on this side and I'll trim back that pink foam just uh, a quarter inch all the way around so it fits on my lip. Then that'll give me my inner gear door look. And when I paint all that, oh, it'll look good. Super tough, rigid, won't be flopping around. Bump into it with the curb and the taxi test, take out a chunk of concrete, gear door will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm whoops. I sure hope you guys enjoyed this Bob Othon of videos. We're still going to run with it through New Year's and uh, get some parts busted out. I want this Thunder Chief done. No more playing around. Bam. Done. Flying. You know, it's funny how you get to know people, even though we don't talk or nothing, just from their messages. I can tell when old Lip River Dave gets off work. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Can't get too much Bob TV, he says. Thunder Chief building action. Well, that's good, because I can't get enough of it either, except for right now. It's 1 in the morning. I'm tired. I'm going to load these videos and I'm going to bed. We're going to be back tomorrow with some more Thunder Chief building action. So be sure and tune in. And don't be shy. You want to donate uh, PayPal or more. That's M double O R E R more 4169 at AOL.com. Be sure and pay them sponsors a little bit of love. And uh, we'll see you back in the shop. Some more Thunder Chief building action. Same Bob time. That was the underhanded one. Same Bob station. This episode of Bob TV was broadcasted in Philovision. This is a drama free zone. <laughs>